Welcome back. I heard an unflattering rumor about Saint Astraea. Have you met that herb peddling woman? She claims that Saint Astraea is herself a demon. That woman has no reason to lie. Surely she must be mistaken. I find something odd about this place. It brims with grime, but at once feels strangely pure. I find something off it bri All right, that's all Selen has to say. Maybe we will now be ignoring her or until we kill her black phantom form. Besides, we can't complete her little quest until we defeat the archdemon anyway. There's a giant over there, isn't there? This will be... Yep. I'm not mistaken, there's more than one, too. There's... like, three or four or something. Yeah, there's at least three of them. So I'm not going to try charging them in and finding them there. But unfortunately, that's the largest patch of land around. Well, it's within reasonable distance, at least, that I know of. Ah, and that slug has the dull gold armor, which is what Selen Vinland is wearing. I believe it's notable for having a high magic defense and being female exclusive. Okay, let's see if we can pull one of the giants over and deal with him alone and then deal with the rest of them. not going so well. Oh, forget it. I'm just gonna ignore them. I'll just focus on getting the stage over with. At some point, I will revisit this place in order to, uh, well, get rid of her items those guys were guarding. Also, skipping the large sword of moonlight. Partly because, well, actually, mostly because I just plain forgot how to get to it. I need to remember to look that up so I can retrieve it in a later video. The main reason why I want to get the Large Sword of Moonlight is not only is it pretty nifty in and of itself, I believe I mentioned this in a... Anyway, it's not only nifty in and of itself, it has some pretty unique properties to it, particularly the fact that it is one of the only weapons in the game that deals purely magic damage, as well as it is one of the only weapons, one of two in fact, completely ignore shields. Plus, the Large Sword of Moonlight is a reference to the King's Field series, which is the spiritual predecessor to Demon Souls. I believe there's also a reference to the Moonlit Sword, Moonlight Sword, whatever it is, in the Armored Core series, which is also made by From Software. But I've never played Armored Core, so that's just what I've read. 
and that black turpentine we picked up will be very useful against the boss of this stage. Have I already explained black turpentine? Crap, I don't remember. Yeah, in case it's not obvious, my memory is pretty horrible sometimes. time hitting mosquitoes with melee weapons most of the time. Okay, it's just the buzzing of flies, not mosquitoes. Here we're near the slug nest. Destroying the slug nest is how we get more sort of moonlight. Fortunately, I don't know how to get up to where the slug nest is. But until you destroy it, you just have slugs constantly dropping in. So it's a good place to farm sucker stones, I guess. dead. Anyway, since I had gotten fed up with this stage by this point, I'll be getting the Lord Sword of Moonlight later. Which is why I was standing there like that. I was contemplating. One, two giants, and a shaman. The shamans, shamans, however you want to pronounce it. They are basically like the normal, filthy ones, whatever you call them, standard enemies, except they can cast Poison Cloud. That didn't work out as planned. No one did that. Interesting. He's not moving. Of course he starts moving as soon as I get the bow out. I really have no idea what was up with that. I've never seen that happen before. Just a little over there is a fog barrier last ones we'll need to go through before we can get to the boss. I'd forgotten that the shaman was there, but he's being an idiot, so it doesn't matter. Nothing. I think we may have a chance of dropping faint stones. I could be getting them confused with another enemy type. But there is one that drops a set of shaman's clothing, which is what Satsuki wears. Anyway, until next time.